station here in Worcester, Massachusetts, the second biggest city in all of Massachusetts, the second biggest city indeed in New England. And this city has a very special train service that I want to highlight for you. It's one that has existed before in various guises and has made a return for the second time since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. It left our schedules for a little period, uh, but it's back now. So I'm going to take you inside and show you a little more about what this train is, what it does, why it is so important for this city and the wider commuter rail as a whole. So let's go in. Now hopefully I'm not going to give too much away about how fantastic this station is. That's going to come in a later video because I want to give this place the credit it deserves. Giant clock, 7.29. Uh, I make that a couple of minutes slow, but I can let it off. It's not like that time I was at Anderson Woburn and the clock was about four hours behind. There's a lot going on here right now as well. And once again, once everything is uh, more up to date, up to speed, I might even wind up doing two videos here because I'm not sure when the construction is due to finish, but I've wanted to come to Worcester for a long time to show you what it's all about. But this train is uh, just as important uh, to me and such, I think it warrants its own video. So let's get to the end of this little corridor here and I will explain a little bit more about it. With a couple of freight locomotives in the background, here is a brief preview construction ongoing of the new station here at Worcester. Once again, that is not what I'm here for. I am here instead for the train that is being hauled by our fair steed 1138. Not the biggest train in the world, but I'd love for it to grow because this is the heart to hub. Now let me go and show you a map and I'll explain just what Heart to Hub means. And just so conveniently, hello, here's a map. So let me just put my trusty T down so I've got this hand to show you what happens here. So this is the Worcester line. No, that's the, that's the Fitch Poke line, sorry, here we go, Worcester. Normally stretches all the way along to South Station and indeed that's what it still does, but this train being an express service from Worcester all the way through to Boston, means it doesn't stop in many places. Indeed, it only stops in Framingham, Lansdowne, Back Bay, and the final station, South Station, meaning it does not stop anywhere between Grafton and Ashland, and again, anywhere between West Natick and Boston Landing. And indeed, it is the only train in the day from Worcester to Boston that is scheduled not to serve Boston Landing. Such is the nature of it being an express service and one that I want to see the people of Worcester in particular and indeed the people of Framingham utilize. So let me get on board now and I will show you hopefully whizzing through these stations to highlight how express this train can be. Remember, we're not stopping there, not stopping there, not stopping there and not stopping there. And that is what makes this train special. Let's get on board.
it was marathon day. Just the usual road, nothing fancy about it today. All the fancy stuff is taking place with this train. So this is nothing out of the ordinary for the people of Framingham. They have a good number of express services that at least go from the Natick stations as a quicker option to get to Boston. But this even doesn't call at anything, like I said before on the map, anywhere now between here and Lansdowne. Doesn't even stop at Boston Landing. Let me catch that one for you as well. Better join these folks, get back on board. sometimes on one of these videos. In fact, I've never done one before, but here's a uh, closing statement. Somewhere quiet. Maybe I'm saying this with rose tinted glasses, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I work in the industry. But I think trains are magnificent. I think to have the ability, the technology, the engineering that we do to get as many people as we do one vehicle from here, there and everywhere is quite incredible. And I therefore am so happy that such a service exists from somewhere as prestigious as Worcester, taking people from there, from the heart of Massachusetts from the heart of New England to the hub of Massachusetts, the hub of New England. Worcester to Boston is a brilliant market. It connects two vital cities in this area. And that's why the Hard to Hub train for me is one that I am passionate about on behalf of the people of Worcester. I want this to be a rallying cry of sorts because granted things were disturbed to a degree at the end of the COVID-19 pandemic and there was a transition as I think many regular riders are aware of that we we changed from a full-on commuter rail system to a more regional rail based system that offered more consistent service throughout the day. But it wasn't until 2022, about two years ago, that we put the Heart to Hub train back into the system. And we were hoping to see people ride that train and connect from Worcester into Boston. And unfortunately, by the time we got to the end of not the last timetable, but the timetable before that, 12 months ago, it just wasn't seen as an efficient use of a train, an efficient use of crew. So that train got converted to be of the same kind of format as all the trains surrounding it. That being all stations between Worcester and Framingham, additionally West Natick, and then Express to Boston Landing. But we took that train out of the timetable and invariably people were then writing in saying, what's happened to Hard to Hub? Um, I want to see Hard to Hub back. So this is, if you like, that second bite of the cherry. And this is why from me on a personal rallying call, this is not me speaking on behalf of my employer, this is not me speaking on behalf of the MBTA or the commuter rail, this is me saying, 
people of Worcester, people of the surrounding area, this is your service. Use it, utilize it, enjoy it. Because you can see earlier in the video, you, you beat I-90, you beat the traffic there. And that's just one of the many selling points to me about traveling by train. So I'm just gonna leave that with you. It's a bit more of a serious point that I would otherwise leave a video on, but a, uh, an important one. So yeah, go take the train. I like it a lot. You know I like it a lot, but seriously. Hard to hope is back. Let's make it worth it.